It's Friday, y'all, and when I say this weekend I'll be glued to my couch, I mean it because primetime games await. Your morning playbook starts right now. First, some great news. We'll get to see Baylor's forward Joanna Edwards get one last hurrah at playing a college game. The senior will play in this year's Women's College All-Star Game happening tomorrow in Cleveland. During her one season with the Bears, Edwards led the team in scoring, averaging almost 12 points per game, as well as six rebounds, all while shooting almost 50% from the field. And if you follow the Bears this season, you know she'll put on a show. But we, before we get to see Dre shine in the All-Star game, the women's final four goes down tonight. And just take a look at that lineup. First, we get the undefeated South Carolina Gamecocks versus NC State at 6 p.m. And a little later, we get the main event, the best player in college hoops right now, Kaylin Clark and Iowa, and the Iowa Hawkeyes take on another star, Paige Buckers and UConn. Tip off on that one at 8.30 p.m. Now from the hardwood, we move to the turf. Baylor making adjustments, scouting who's gonna be in the starting lineup. They held their seventh day of spring practice yesterday and the battle for that QB1 spot heating up between Sawyer Robertson and the Quan Finn. The team also learning from new coaches. One of those linebackers, coach Jamar Chaney, he spoke on what drew him to Waco. I love it just because, I mean, he's considered one of the, the, the brightest, you know, minds on the defensive side of the ball uh, and then the position that he coaches is, you know, inside linebacker. So that's one of the reasons I was, you know, drawn to the job was, you know, the opportunity to get to, uh, you know, not only, you know, work for him, but work with him. The Aggies also wrapping up seven practices under the new man in charge, Mike Elko. And all eyes on that defensive line. The front seven are looking like they're going to carry A&M this season with the new recruits and returners and returners. Obviously, that's a really talented group. They jump out at you when you first start working with them. Um, there is depth there. Some of the decisions we've made kind of as we're building this are built around the fact that, you know, we're to, to prioritize their ability to impact the game. And this weekend also stacked in the diamond. Baylor looking to keep that win streak going. They host my alma mater, Incarnate Word, starting with game one tonight at 6.30. Meanwhile, the Aggies, one of the best teams in the nation right now. They hit the road to take on South Carolina, coming up fresh off a seven inning win over Texas State. And they're looking to add three more wins to that 26 and three record. First pitch tonight at six. We'll of course have all those baseball highlights for you tonight. If you were tuned into KCN last night, you saw the Dallas Mavs take care of business against the Atlanta Hawks. And if you didn't, we have you covered. Tonight, you'll get to watch the second part of their back-to-back. -back. The Mavs take on the Warriors at 7.30 p.m. right here on KCN only, not KXO. And looks like I'll be needing two screens tonight with your morning playbook. This has been Zoe Del Rosario. We'll be back.